Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube, the general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on why Lonzo Ball versus De'Aaron Fox will be the NBA's next major rivalry. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to comment down below. I really want to hear your feedback on this and interact with you, so please leave a comment. To begin, I believe the NBA is in a great state right now, except out east but eh, whatever yeah. numbers of superstars mostly young and extremely talented fill the league with that said another problem that the league faces besides its imbalance of powers between conferences is star versus star rivalries if we think about this we truly don't have many if any star versus star rivalries and of course it's how you perceive what a rivalry is in order to make this statement some would call russ versus kd a rivalry but that situation is rare and their teams aren't equally good enough to create an intense rivalry between the two. Probably the closest thing we have is Durant versus LeBron, but then again, some people will say there is a competitive imbalance there between their teams. Well with that, we usher in the second pick Laker Lonzo Ball and fifth pick King De'Aaron Fox. Here's the goods, they both play the same position, their teams are on track to be good at about the same time in the future, I'm saying five years down the line, unless LA signs big free agents in the 2018 offseason, and they have a history. Let's look at the greatest rivalry ever for an example, Magic Bird. Both played against each other in college, Magic won the national title against Bird. They met in the 1984, 85, and 87 finals, Magic won two of the three. Some would say that they resurrected basketball in the 1980s, their impact was that great. What made this rivalry so good were certain factors, and similar factors exist pertaining to Fox versus Ball. Well, one, Bird and Magic had a history in college and so did Fox and Ball. Ball got the best of Fox in his first matchup against him, and Fox cooked Lonzo in the Sweet 16, dropping 39 on him. Magic and Bird were a part of two franchises that hated each other, and that just so happens to be the case for Fox and Ball. Sacramento versus LA has been a sleeping rivalry for the past number of years, but once they get good, led by their stars, which we presume to be Fox and Ball, watch out, because that beast will wake up nationally. Now, I'm not saying this rivalry will be better than Magic Bird or even come close to it, but what makes this so compelling is that Fox and Ball can't hide from each other. They play the same position, which means they would probably guard each other, we hope. Also, another dynamic is introduced to this brewing rivalry, their dads. De'Aaron's dad, Aaron Fox, said this about his son versus Lonzo in college. All that yap, yap, yapping. I don't even respond to that. We played them twice. Twice his son got outplayed. I always tell De'Aaron, let your game speak for it. You ain't gotta talk, you ain't gotta fuss. LeVar can say what he wants to say. I just tell him to go back and watch the film. That's it. It was in March that LeVar admitted Fox reminded him of John Wall, but stated that he wouldn't take him with a top five pick in the draft. I don't know if he'd be in the top five of the draft for me. I want a bigger, stronger guy. And this just keeps getting better as Lonzo recently sat out a summer league game against Fox and he responded. You know, you saw the way they play without him. It's like for itself, they play extremely well without him. All I can say is this. It is a brewing rivalry now, and it will turn 100% real if these players are stars with competitive teams five years from now. So let me know what you think. Will Fox vs. Ball be the NBA's next major rivalry? Hope you enjoyed. Remember to subscribe, like, and leave your feedback in the comments down below. We'll be back with more Topic Tackle soon. JC3, out!